Yes. Sir, please uh, tell us about your uh, childhood uh, and your schooling. Uh, yes. First of all, Fazal Abin Beg Sahib, uh, you know very well our history. In uh, early 60s and uh, when I was uh, taken to school for enrollment, there was no such building for school. Uh, only one primary teacher was there, he was teaching. Uh, the year I think I was taken to school in 1964 or 65. Mm -hmm. I am not able to establish the exact date. When I was taken, I think it was uh, 64 uh, because the foundation stone of uh, Hulkin Jamaat Khana was laid yeah. down mm -hmm. in 1964. Mm -hmm. If I am right, if there is some variation, one can correct that. So at that year I was taken to school but there was not a building for that. I was taken in the home of my uh, teacher whose name is Arman Bey mm -hmm. in his house and uh, in a place before <coughs> entering the uh, principal house the, uh, there was a small plain uh, place Many students were t uh, there, I was also taken there and for two years we were roaming either uh, sitting before a tree, an apple or apricot or taken to a house which was for the time being empty, not in use of the person. The family, yeah. Yeah, uh, for example we were taken in the house of my late Mahmoudte Hunsha, mm -hmm. who was in uh, the uh, G, G, GS Scout or NS Scout, he was in the Northern Scout or Bilgit Scout. Scout, yeah. Scout. So we were one year, two years, we were uh, there as a, using a school and only one teacher was. He was teaching us up to third stage, that is Dusri. First stage I take a Qaeda, Peli, Dusri. So he was, he taught us up to date at Gulkin and after when I, we passed it, I came to down to Gulmit Primary School, Gulmit, and there was also one teacher, late Alija Ibadat Shah was teaching mm -hmm. us. Uh, probably it was 67 or 68, 69, up to 60, 70 we studied. I studied at Gulmit Primary School and uh, there from uh, Was that uh, the government, government school or uh, DG school? It was DG school. Mm -hmm. There was no government school at that time, up mm -hmm. to 71 uh, or 73, there was no government school at Gurmit because the teacher was being paid by uh, DJ Diamond Jubilee Fund. Mm -hmm. Mr. Qudratullah Beg was the muhtamim, the administrator of DJ system. All right. The appointment was of teacher was being made by the Mir of Hunza. Mm -hmm. Now later we learned that he was the president of Central Asia. Supreme Council. Uh, uh, that purpose he was the uh, appointing authority for that. Mm -hmm. So at that time when I went to Gulmit uh, in third or fourth stage, uh, students from Husani from Shishkat, Nazimabad and from Greek. So we, uh, Alhamdulillah, at that time we were more than 20 students in one class. Third, third, fourth, Tisri, Jyothi, Panchvi, Chatti. Third, fourth, fifth, uh, fifth, 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 fifth six. Yeah. It was the first time that sixth class was taught us at Gurmit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main person behind retaining us 
at Gulmit instead of sending us to Karimabad Hunza, he was Rai Ghulamuddin, late Ghulamuddin, who taught us English and uh, late Ajay Khan taught us uh, mathematics and Mr. Rahbar Khan taught Mahmoud us, Muhammad Rahbar taught us other subjects. So at that time, uh, one edition teacher was there in, in the name of form of Mr. Ali Bana, who uh, was appointed as a teacher with late Alija Ibadat Shah. Mm -hmm. So after studying uh, sixth class at Gurmit, we were brought to Karimabad Hunza for appearing in sixth class examination. Mm -hmm. First time we attempted written paper at Karimabad Hunza. Mm -hmm. For sixth class. Mm -hmm. When was it? 1970? 1970. Mm -hmm. So that was the uh, initial stage. Now uh, we can say that at that time there was no government intervention at Upper Hunza in establishing a school, uh, in constructing a building, <coughs> or appointing a teacher. It was from Gulmit to Shimshar to Chipursan and even Misra. Only DJ teachers and schools were there. There was no proper building for a school. People were being taken to a, what we call, say, Langar Khana. Mm -hmm. uh, the kitchen. The kitchen mm -hmm. of the, the kitchen of community. community. Yeah. That was the place where we were sitting, where we were being taught. Now there was no benches, no tots, nothing. We were sitting on like uh, on the floor which was just full of sand. Uh, so that was the poverty of that uh, decade. I can say that in 60s there was poor condition of schooling system at Hunza, uh, particularly in Upper Hunza. Mm -hmm. No government's mm -hmm. appearance was there. So one all. thing I'd like to ask a question here now. Uh, so what about 1962 when President, uh, uh, Field Marshal President uh, Ayub Khan had visited uh, uh, Hunza and also Kulmit and then it is said it's so much famous uh, through the oral narrative narratives that uh, uh, well then he has asked the people, the community members or the elders mm -hmm. that well what kind of uh, uh, things they required and they have demanded for uh, assault and then he has laughed and then has said okay if you have demanded for salt I am going to gift you a primary school. Okay. I don't remember uh, my childhood when mm -hmm. I knew Khan. I just remember that some uh, jeeps were mm -hmm. remember at, wow. at Gurmit. Mm -hmm. Just uh, very so. slight. What I perceive is that at that time there was no importance of education among the people. Mm -hmm. People were focusing, concentrating only on their livestock, only on their cultivation of their crops and their livelihood were dependent on agriculture. Mm -hmm. So they were focusing all their energy, all their uh, concentration how to improve the cultivation of their land, how to construct new fields for <coughs> their uh, growth of their uh, wheat or barley or other crops, whatever. Mm -hmm. They were trying to look after their livestock. Not, there was very poor condition of education at Hunza. Mm -hmm. There were few people who have the cognizance of education. 
Yeah, there it was is. no cognizant of mm-hmm. education at that time. Now mm-hmm. that at ruler level, I am surprised when I study, for example, the book called Gilgit Mission. Mm-hmm. So they visited. Uh, one was a. Uh, Uh, the, the guy who contributed a lot to the language is also a Lorimer. Lorimer, Littner, they were, they didn't visit. They, the Gilgit mission was going to Ka- up to Kashgar. Mm-hmm. And they took uh, the Mir Ghazam Khan, appointed Ali Gohar of Volkin, their guide, mm-hmm. to lead them to not Kashgar, Badakhshan, to go to Badakhshan via Mintika. Mm. Uh, Badakhshan via Mintika or Klik? Klik. Klik movement, yeah. Klik, a short Because path. Mintika goes to ah, Kashgar area. Yeah. And though that is also within China, mm. uh, Klik, but also connects. So, I, what I'm uh, making a point, the British officers, when they visited Hunza, they observed that the people are very poor. They have no access to education. They didn't intervene for these to educate, to uh, to open schools in the area. They didn't talk about the importance of education because their priority was not education, not social development. Their concentration was to how to uh, expand their empire. Mm. Expansionist, to, uh, expansionist approach. Expansionist approach. Mm. How to approach and dominant China. How to contain the Russian. Their only priority was not welfare of people. No. And Kalandar Chief Fort is one of the examples uh, as it was uh, constructed. constructed in 1932-33 for, uh, reg- for yes. the purpose of regressing So that is why Russia. that uh, impression It was only the intervention of our religious guide, our spiritual, Imam, spiritual, spiritual leader, yeah, leader, Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, uh, made a radio message to the people of... In 1940, yeah. And that was the turning point. People were sent, began to send to schools. So that is the initiation or history of education mm. in Hunza. Yeah, although there, uh, the, a primary school was established in 1912, I think, at Baltic during the British uh, period, yeah. but then there were, uh, th- there wasn't that attraction given and a very limited level of people would yeah. go there, yeah. and well, especially from, from, the, el- uh, from the elites or, or so-called elites of that time. Yes. Yes, sir. So, thank you, sir. So, uh, this much uh, you said, uh, you told us about your schooling in Wolkin and uh, Gulmit, and then from there onward uh, you moved towards Central Hunza or Gilgit? Uh, now, after passing sixth class, I, with many of my colleagues, if you say name them. Yeah, that will be great. Uh, so, your my campaign classmates you. were Uh, late Ghulam Beg, Didar Shah, Mir Hayat, Jafar, Ahmad Beg, Special Education Wala, from Hulkin Sifat Shah, from Rish, uh, uh, Shishkat Imtiaz. We came and from Shimshal to others, Farmanali. And uh, Farman, which Farmanali? Farmanali, the compounder. Ah, uh, I thought uh, maybe uh, health uh, down. The Farmanali of the health department. Mm-hmm. Who was a dispenser? Yeah, dispenser. And uh, younger brother Muhammad Amin, or uh, Amin, or uh, younger brother of uh, Dolat Amin. Muhammad Amin. Ah, uh, Ulam Karim. No, not. Ah, Dolat Amin. Dolat Amin. Dolat Amin. Dolat Amin, not. Dolat Amin. Dolatamin is there. Okay, okay. So we were uh, colleagues at, uh, and from Paso, Sayyid and Ijaz, they uh, got admission at Aliabad, middle school Aliabad, and we, uh, 10 or 12 people, got admission at middle school Karimabad. Mm, Bastish, at that time, yeah. 
so yeah. we used to stay one of our acquaint acquaintances yeah those who were similar to our family yeah you you so, the family uh, yeah, family relationship yeah. there was no proper arrangement of As boarding hosted, and lodging yeah. for us yeah. so we were dependent on the people kindness of those people who hosted us we were the guest room. they were the host so i too for two years for seventh and eighth class i studied at karima patunda the teachers were very much dedicated i can name the prominent teachers of that time uh, that is uh, sanaullah marhum late sanaullah late sultan ali samarkand uh, Like yeah, Sultan Ali Samarkand was yes, brother of your uh, paternal yeah, yeah, my uh, grandfather's my father's paternal uncle uh, Sultan Ali Samarkand and Nurul Nurul Din Nurul Din and Shah Alam and Ulam Din Ali Jab Ulam Din that uh, Altid Altid they were our nice teachers very learned and very much. competent teachers mm-hmm. of their time of their time so we learned good things uh, i personally say i have learned a lot from them uh, the content uh, competency enrichment we got from them so it was their kindness their uh, competency that we were able to move forward and in 1970 Three, I got admission at uh, Government High School Number One, Kilgit. At that time, it was only Government High School, mm. and from two days, four district, from Ghazar, from Nagar, from Hunza, from Astor, from Jlas, five districts. There was only one high school, Kilgit. Mm. In nineteen. Seventy-three to uh, seventy-three to seventy-four. At that time, uh, the uh, the Hunza State existed. Yes, yeah, the Hunza State was intact, and uh, we were students. So we passed. I passed matriculation from uh, Gulmit High School, Gulmit, and further got admission at Gulmit. The inter college. Your, your matriculation was from Karimabad, is it? From Gilgit. Ah, Gilgit. Sorry, uh, Gilgit. from Gilgit. Yeah. And so. then I got admission at degree, not degree college, inter college, government intermediate college, inter college. This Gilgit. Mm-hmm. Later it was upgraded degree college mm-hmm. Gilgit. Mm-hmm. So. So how how uh, what were your uh, uh, position in matriculation a uh, matriculation i was much uh, i can say i was studious student at that time at shakri hostel we when we ah you were there in uh, shakri yes. when we got admission uh, at government uh, high school gilgit there was uh, the best uh, available boarding lodging at shakri hostel mm-hmm. we were fortunate enough and we got a good atmosphere good environment how to uh, that uh, facilitate it and help how to study how to make uh, attempt and uh, go good quality of education mm-hmm. at that time uh, when we passed ninth class i think i was uh, Mr. Agha Zauddin was my class fellow. Ah, who friend. was uh, yes. who was killed in 2005. Five, who became the ah. religious leader of Shia community at Gilgit. He was a studious student. I also we tried to. So, were, were you classmates or uh, had classmates. you also some friendship together? We had very good friendship. Mm-hmm. He was sitting with with us, the uh, the student from Gojal. He uh-huh. was liking that. I used to sit with him, and Mr. Saeed Sadi used to yeah. sit with him. And many of our colleagues were sitting. We were in science class, science section, 
So that is why he was science section. Mm. We were uh, had very good intimacy with him. When I uh, came and joined the government service in 1991, I went to him to pay my regards to him. He remembered all those uh, memories. Uh, memories. Mm. So that is uh, what okay. he was the. You know, becoming the first so uh, so school. after doing your uh, matriculation from Gilgit then you uh, opted for your college education and you did it uh, your FA, uh, FSC, FSC yeah uh, so was it pre engineering or pre medical pre medical pre -medical. But, uh, we were not i was not able to secure the uh, highest mark and mm -hmm. good position because the teaching the that college was lacking the teaching staff it was not uh, uh, fulfilling all the condition for in terms of providing the lectures for the college. It was at preliminary stages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, lack of facilities. We, as we well. were taught by the lecturers or professor at the first year, and when we passed that and we entered in the second year. There was no faculty to teach us, mm -hmm. so we suffered. Mm -hmm. We could not achieve. That. When was it? It was seventy-five. Seventy-five. So you did your. Uh, uh, FSC I did FSC in nineteen seventy-six. Seventy-six, on I said. So then, from there on. So when I passed my FSC from here, I moved to Karachi. Now, uh, when I moved there, there was a big uh, setback in terms of that. My joint family became they got the, separated. Uh, yeah, separated. Oh, okay. So that's why. So now uh, the finance, which I was, I was uh, being financed by my father, my family, that became uh, drained or became weak. And now I, when I moved to Karachi, I had to search or hunt for a job, part-time job, so that I could uh, get admission part-time. So when I moved to Karachi in 1977, January 77, there was a big turmoil at Karachi. Between whom? Uh, there was a, a agitation of this against Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto. Ah, when uh, there was he a was lot of agitations at against Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto. Yes, yes. Ah. Oh, they, there was a movement. They were, they were called they, nine stars. Ah, they, Asghar, they aligned um, together. Yeah, yeah. They made alliance against People's Party. People's Party. Zulfiqar Ali Pakistan Bhutto. People's Party. That resulted a lot of agitation. All the uh, factories were closed. There was daily strikes, and all business activities were suspended, down, yeah. disturbed. Mm -hmm. So, due to that, we were not able to grab any part or time job, which was used uh, to get easily at Karachi. So that is why I uh, was not also able to get admission to government college, in any college. So one year of my academic year suffered. So there came up uh, a break of one year in 1977. Yes, yes, yes. When I started uh, from the beginning, this was the first interruption of my academic uh -uh. year at that. So I got, uh, I think, admission in uh, BA. At Government City College, Nazimabad, part time. And I was searching for jobs in a pharmacy company for a packing or for something like that. And um, sometime with a construction company at the site, supervising something, and I was getting uh, enough uh, money to defray my daily mm -hmm. expenses. <clears throat> so that was uh, the way I then proceeded, ahead. Yeah. proceeded ahead with that academic <clears throat> uh, journey. 
So then uh, when did you do your bachelor's degree? Uh, we, at, uh, for the day time from 77 to 80s, there was a big interruption. At, uh, it became routine of Karachi of strikes, agitations, so the exams were delayed for one or the other of these agit uh, agitations. So I got uh, my graduation cleared in 1981. Mm -hmm. It took three or four years to pass the graduation. Meanwhile, I came back in 1979 and joined uh, as a teacher of AKA School mm. Gulmit. Mm -hmm. When I came, I reached it, uh, I, again the role of uh, late uh, uncle Rai Ulamadeen becomes very prominent because he used to utilize all those education, uh, those graduates or students who were studying at Karachi and when they became at home for a vacation, he used to deploy them temporary teacher either in, in any school. So he offered me to teach at DJ school, school with me, girls there. Mm. So I started uh, teaching there. Uh, the was, it, was, was it that period that you would come to the then high school I, and uh, teachers? Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. For one year uh -huh. I taught there, then one uh, day there was a uh, headmaster, maybe you are the student of him, Hafiz. Yeah, yes. Huh? Yeah. yeah. They came to me, you go to Gilgit, you are becoming a science teacher of common school. Gurmit. Yeah, yeah it was uh, so unique to have FSC at that time. Uh, so, me and uh, Tawakkal Sahib came to Gurmit. The, gave us an appointment letter ah. and asked us to do mm -hmm. the processes for getting our salary. Mm -hmm. So we went to the hospital, they made our medical fitness, they issued medical certificate and then we uh, deposited all documents with the uh, mm -hmm. administration of mm -hmm. AKE, uh, government directorate and became the teacher of government. Mm -hmm. Uh, to the viewers, I would like to add here, with the, uh, excuse me, sir, that uh, and now as uh, uh, Sir Gulbeg was uh, nicely explaining it to us, uh, when uh, he joined the government school at that time, uh, I think we were in middle class, middle uh, classes, or uh, the uh, class six or seven, when he w used to teach us mathematics. And the basics of algebra, I, I would like to keep it on record that I'll, I, I, I've learned from him that he used to teach so nicely. Yes. Yeah. So I also remember those students who were my, uh, whom I was teaching as a science teacher. Uh, you were among them, Mr. Sher Karim, Colonel Zahid, Colonel Afsar Shah, and uh, uh, Sharif Khan, late Hamid Khan, and Hamid so Khan. many, and uh, Mohammed Nabi, and uh, Sharif Allah of Shishkat. Amin Beg. So, uh, yeah. Amin Beg was senior to them. Ah, senior to them. Okay. So these were, were <coughs> the clever students, the talented, and they had the spark how to study, how to excel. I remember them, Alhamdulillah, all of them have excelled really and uh, I enjoyed their teaching for their short period at Roman Middle School, Kulmin. I was, uh, you uh, also mentioned about that. I am proud of those students, talented students who have uh, made their career. Alhamdulillah, Bo two colonel have retired, Colonel uh, Zahid Hussain and Colonel Afsar Shah, mm -hmm. who were used to, to be uh, student of the Yes, yes sir. So when we uh, further uh, proceed ahead and then I will see, for example, after 
serve in the government school in uh, Gulmis. And when, where did you go? When did you join yes, the yes. ITRA? I, I had the goal, uh, ambition to get admission at Karachi University uh-huh. for further study to do my master. That mm. was in my mind. I was not uh, satisfied with that uh, appointment of teacher, so I went to. Uh, Karachi and one advertisement about and uh, hunted for this <coughs> admission of Karachi University for one or other reason that uh, didn't uh, materialize so uh, an advertisement about graduation of uh, religious uh, YZ or something was uh, Announced in Jamathanas. I applied for that position and I was among those. A lot of students from Karachi University applied for this. Mm. But I was uh, selected from Hunza. So then I, there was a par- paradigm shift from government to religious uh, education. So for two and a half years it was called Joint Wise Training Program. 15 students from uh, India, 5 students from Afghanistan, uh, 2 or 3 students from Tanzania, Africa, and uh, 1 or 2 students from UK were the cohort of that program. Mm-hmm. So it was an intensive religious uh, training program. So the faculties they were coming from IAS London, Institute like, of Ismaili uh, Studies, yeah, like uh, the famous scholar Azim Nanji, uh, Farooq Topan, uh, and uh, where we, where we was, one was uh, lady was Doctor Parveen Pirwani, who did his master in Persian. Uh, and taught us Jamatul Hikmatayn of mm-hmm. Nasir Khisra, mm-hmm. Dr. Fakir Muhammad, and uh, another was uh, whose name I am forgetting. They were very famous. And uh, 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 what about uh, Mr. Jan Alam Khaki? Was he at that no, time? He was a later uh, training at IAS. Uh-huh. He was not there. So uh, there was. Uh, the best faculty from Karachi University, from those who were famous, they were deployed to teach us extensively Islamic philosophy, Islamic history, languages like Arabic, Persian, and uh, many Ismaili literature. I one of those uh, Ismaili literatures. So we were imparted education, religious education for two and a half years from 1981 to 1984. Mm-hmm. We, I underwent through a religious training program. Mm-hmm. So after completion of the program, we were uh, deployed at full time or employee of, at that time, I think it was called Ismailia Association. So in 1985, I was as a faculty. I was posted at uh, as a YZ uh, posted at Gilgit. Mm-hmm. So I used to make uh, trips to Ishkoman. First trip Ishkoman in the Wahi area, and the I trip I was given schedule for Chupur Santu. Throughout the Gujal area, Shimshal, Chipursan. For two years I remained deployed, for two or three, I exactly don't remember, deployed there. Then, the, uh, when you are, you are uh, expectations are raised very high and you are lagging behind, you become frustrated. Mm-hmm. So, to some extent, I became frustrated uh, there in Etrab because when Maulana Hazar Imam sent Talika on the conclusion of our training program, Hazar Imam categorically 
mention that they must be linked academically with the IAS programs. Mm-hmm. And when we demanded that, this is guidance of Imam, the town. Oh, no, 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 that's not, there is budget concern, this, that, that. They were excuses. Coming excuses. Up. Mm-hmm. So I took another Fox. Was it from the center, from the national ITRAB level? Oh, it was policy making. Mm-hmm. So then uh, there was another paradigm shift. I tried to uh, test myself in appearing in the competitive exam of which is being conducted annually by FPSC. Federal, Federal Service Federal Commission. Service, uh, Public Service Commission. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I attempted and uh, appeared twice. Mm-hmm. Once I appeared, I think, 87. Uh, one subject was not cleared, which one was that? I think uh, I uh, cho- I had chosen uh, economics as a subject, which was not my, uh, that was my wrong decision. So Your base I was not, not with that, that subject. The next time I changed the subject and Alhamdulillah I was able to get through mm. the position and uh, I was able to So you qualified, my qualified uh, uh, the CSS in 1988. 88, all right. 88. I appeared and in 1989 it takes one and a half year for the whole oh process. So in 1989 I joined as a public servant. And and what the, position is this? Uh, I tell about the CSS Central Superior Service Computation Service that is made for the 17th grade of the position, mm. the entry. Now there are 11 groups, DMG at that time it was called DMG, now today is called PAS, Pakistan Administrative Service. And what was DMG? DMG District Management Group. group. Mm. So there are foreign service, police, customs, excise and taxation, today is called Inland Revenue Service. ONG Office Management Group, Pakistan Audit and Account Service, Information Group, uh, so Trade and Commerce Group, Railways Group, so there are 10 to 11 groups. Now the merit falls according to the position. If I am uh, ordering my preferences, Number one is, say, foreign service, police or DMGA. The top one will go to that position, which is the best group. Uh, and the best group depends who opts for which one. They become Pakistan Administrative Service. Once a time, it was foreign service one on the top. Then DMG became on the top. <coughs> or the police service is coming on the top, or custom is, it depends on who is opting, how many people are opting. So I fall in Pakistan Audit and Account Service. So after uh, joining the um, service, we went through, uh, underwent uh, through training Trainings. of Civil Service Academy, which is for 11 months. Mm-hmm. And after that, each group goes for its special training programs, STP, which is called Special Training Program. Another nine months, we uh, go through the training of that mm-hmm. part. So at least two years uh, go for the training of the officers for to becoming uh, to uh, become in the office uh, in the field so my first posting was in 1991 as assistant accountant general thank you once again to you all for uh, uh, so 
uh, cautiously and uh, taking interest, particularly those who are based in research and uh, try to know about the societal development and the cultural changes from an anthropological, sociological or overall development context. So I think uh, this will be uh, just uh, a great opportunity for them uh, to uh, carefully uh, listen to uh, this clip and will help them a lot, who are, whether they are scholars, researchers. Uh, or university students. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll meet you in the next clip. Bye.